the affidavit second for all purposes. Let me ask you a question. Is it safe to assume you're not going to touch the bond issue then? Safe? Okay. And the other thing I made that decision, but I was leaving. The only reason I bring that out there is, and I told Ms. Dugan that I was going to ask, um, in the probable cause affidavit, it indicates that Mr. Stephan was taken into custody on February 5th. I'm sure you've read that. Uh, what the probable cause affidavit doesn't say is that seven hours later he was released, taken home by law enforcement, and uh, has been at home awaiting the investigation in this case. And I got a phone call yesterday afternoon about 1 o'clock telling me that I needed to surrender him by 5, and I did. Oh, that too? Okay. I just didn't know if that made a difference. Otherwise, we'll address it, you know, at another time. But I wanted to make sure I made the court aware of it. I saw all that, and I saw where his initial phone call was taking the argument uh, <coughs> of self-defense. Yes, sir. I saw it. I read all that. Okay. Judge, uh, there is an attorney here on behalf of the victim's family. Uh, counsel has a written note contact order for them, and I'm asking Ron to be denied. This is a um, successful to life in prison. He has no history. Because without, without a full bond hearing, I'll tell you what I'd ask for at this point if you were even inclined. I wish you did. I'd ask you for a $100,000 bond with house arrest. Because I mean, this man was an unarmed individual. Morning, Judge Morris. I'm happy to be with Scott Scott. Do you represent the family? I do. Scott Scott, I'm happy to be with the family. Respectfully requesting the court uh, enter no bond in this matter. But you look at this, it also indicates there's absolutely been no physical altercations or anything between these two people in the past whatsoever. And it's just clear, he just for no reason shot this man. It's a feigned attempt at self defense, not a real self defense. Because I don't want to get into issues of the bond theory, but I, it, it, only in fair response to this dude. I will tell you that there's a history with this man. He has attacked my client's father. He is a bully. He has threatened violence before. And there's a lot of information that's going to come out um, as this case develops. In my opinion, this is a textbook case of self-defense. Um, however, if the court is not inclined, I don't want to, I, I, you know, I, I'd rather have a full-blown bond hearing and deal with it. But I made the request because the probable cause affidavit seems to lend itself to issues that are not common. And what bothered me the most law enforcement selectively leaving out that they took him home that day. Judge, this defendant was in possession of a pit bull with his gun. We have two prosecutors. And it wasn't we a pit bull, bull judge. It, 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 it was bull. not a pit bull. And this is a bond hearing is what's happening. This is not a no, this is no longer, this is your one shot at a bond. Well, it's not my one shot because I don't have witnesses. I will wait, Judge. You're not inclined to set a bond based on the pieces. But if everyone else gets to make a comment, I get to respond. I, and, and I'm going to agree with that part. Okay. We're in the game. If I was considering what it was, and certainly the counsel for the victim's family has a right to speak, and the prosecutor does give a right to respond. So I'm not criticizing anybody. I'm just saying this is not a full blown bond hearing. This is being determined probable cause. Well, actually, I'm not being determined probable cause because the judge signed the warrant. The probable cause was determined. from the four corners that he did commit the act, whether it was a second degree murder or not, whether it was self-defense or not, is it something for a later date? A presentation to the state attorney's office and maybe ultimately to a jury. I will deny bond at this time. It has some reservations about that, but I'll to reserve without prejudice a full-blown bond hearing on the assigned circuit court judge. All right, thank you, Reverend. And I did sign the no contact order, and he signed the no contact Thank you, Judge. Kevin, not take.